Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I am gonna show you how I made these resin clocks with pressed plants and flowers. So without further ado let's get to it. So, here I have my clock molds. They are nothing special. No particular molds for clocks. They are actually molds for cake stand. And I took the biggest and the smallest. I chose these molds because they already have a hole in the middle because I am not very good with measures and straight lines on the eye so this is very convenient I don't need to be stressed that I'm not gonna find the middle the right middle of the clock and the first step I'm gonna do is I am going to prepare my resin and I am going to mix in some black pigment. So I am using black jet pigment from Just For You Online UK. And this resin is going to be the background layer for my clocks. I like this pigment very much because it's mixes together with resin so nicely and the resin for my project is art pro resin from resin pro company and here i am starting to pour down my first layer it's very easy step to do so yeah just spreading out here this is my first time that I'm making clocks so again a new thing for me and yes a new experience And I'm trying to fill in about half so that after the other half is clear. And after I spread it out, I go over with a torch to pop the bubbles and then I cover and let it to cure. So this is the next day my resin is cured and I have premixed a little bit of transparent resin that I am applying just a little bit and this resin is like a glue so I am going to stick my flowers and my plants on it.
Right, that has been done. And the next uh, part is to place the flowers. And I thought that the flowers can be placed like in clock dial places. So for the small clock, I chose just four flowers for 12, 6, 3 and 9. And for the larger clock, I picked 12 flowers to mark each number on the clock. And I need to be very careful so everything is um, symmetrical and in the right place. Right, now that that's been finished, I let it cure again for about 8-10 hours, doesn't need to be 24 full hours. And the next step is the last layer of clear resin. Straightforward, nothing really complicated in here, just fill the mold. And once again, I'm popping bubbles as much as I can. I'm going this time with my lighter because I don't want that the resin gets too hot on the edges and let it to cure. And I left it for about two or three days because I wanted that my resin is fully clocked, fully clocked, <laughs> fully cured. And the, res and the resin doesn't bend. And here I am taking out. I'm very happy with the little one. And here is the big one. And I notice, as you can see in the light, the resin has cured a bit funky. It's not really flat. So as I like my things to be perfect, as much as I can make them perfect, I decided to sand it a little bit and after I will apply a top coat. So here I am sanding. Just want to mention you don't have to sand it, but it helps resin to stick a bit better 
so that's why I am sanding because generally I absolutely hate sanding and if it takes long time to sand oh it's not a job for me but this sanding is about five minutes and that's it and also when you sand it you would want to sand it wet because then the resin dust is not flying around and definitely you need to wear a mask because you don't want to inhale the resin dust and here I am applying my gold edge just thought that for some of you it might be interesting to see and now it's the fun part I drilled the hole in the middle and I have my clock mechanism so now it's the time to adjust it to put the clock together and it is absolutely my first time doing that so I was a little bit scared that I might get wrong and I struggled a bit to get the dials uh, to stay in place and I must say the dials are very soft they are made from a very thin metal so you try to bit force it and the dial is bending something that I'm not very happy about and also the color was white I maybe in the future I will spray it gold but for now I just happy that I put it together so in the future if I'm gonna make more clocks I definitely gonna invest more money in the dials so yes here I put it together I need to secure the knot a bit better but it is secured and also I need to mention that this little part you need to be careful when you buy it because there are clock mechanisms with different length of this part uh, I think it's called shaft so if you buy too long it's gonna look a bit odd or if you buy shorter then of course you're not gonna fit everything in the place and here is my little one little bit of struggle but in the end it's all good and I managed to fix it to place it to secure it yay and this one was gold so I'm very happy how this little clock looks and here are my clocks working I'm very very happy how they turned out and yes my very first clocks so if you found this video useful and entertaining please let me know by leaving a comment down below but for now i'm saying goodbye until next time keep creating bye